Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. Um, this episode is going to be an extension to previous Live Noding. So basically, we will be creating something like this. It's going to be on Blender 2.8. It's going to be rendered real time using EV. And the whole thing is actually procedural using animation nodes. So let's get started right away. Let's power up Blender 2.8. And this is still beta. Okay, so if there is a bug or something, don't worry too much. So it's actually just cylinder and instancing. And we're gonna be using some material trick to get all the colors. Okay, so let's go right away and split this. Sometimes you get, okay. Animation nodes and new. And we're gonna start with a cylinder because we have cylinder mesh inside animation nodes. I haven't used this as instance mesh output. Plug this in, turn this on, create a target. So we have a cylinder. Just make like a small cylinder. It's got a cap resolutions and you can control the height. Okay, we'll leave it at default radius 0.2 and so we have a cylinder so this is the master object and we want to instance it and we want to instance instance this guy using distribute matrices so we're gonna be using matrix output okay so we have all the ingredients this guy plug into the instance so we know how many instance we're gonna be generating this guy is gonna be circle objects gonna be this object we will be using oops mm, all right it crashing sorry about that uh, hopefully I did save I did save okay so that's that's cool so I think we need to turn this down and object instance okay we are good we have everything working cool so we have a grid of cylinder we don't want it we, do, we want it to be circle and this circle is fine everything works um, but I don't like the way all the cylinder is just standing there so just use matrix math and use compose matrix and simply rotate it so this is this is better and now we have this set up very very quickly and so I'm turning always on because uh, I'll, I'm turning this off because it's using a lot of processing power so let's hide this and T and also I will now apply materials before I forgot so this is the master this one was being generated procedurally by animation nodes I will be assigning some kind of emitter so switch to shader editor create new material Instead of principal, I will be using emission material. The color is going to be attribute. Okay. By doing this, we're going to be creating like a object vertex color for each of the instance. And we can assign it to the material. Okay. So that's, uh, that's also pretty easy thanks to animation nodes. So vertex color. Vertex color is applied per objects. It doesn't work with multiple objects yet, so we need to use loop. Select this guy, tap W, loop through the objects, and for each objects, we simply gonna create color. And the color can be random, or the color can use the hue saturation value. 
and the hue can be random for now so random number that random number between 0 and 1 the index um, the seed for the randomness is coming from this guy and this goes into the hue saturation hue saturation value should be 1 so by doing this everything should hopefully work So we might need to reset something. Maybe it's not really updating. So we have we have color for each of these objects. We need to assign the material. Uh, it doesn't update. I think if I do this, it's gonna crash. It's better to, for me to just open recent and reload the file. And now it should, it is working. And with the EV, we can turn on bloom and it's kind of looking like it's glowing, but it doesn't really rate. It, it doesn't send like a, like a light ray casting. Like if you're using cycles, so cycles is kind of emitting the light but uh ev give you kind of bloom it's not really doing like a uh, emission but the glow looks like it's glowing so it's nice it's like a uh, christmas okay christmas light okay uh let's continue with this so this we're, we're done with this the next thing we need to do is just to play around with this. So you have control over the circle, the radius, and on top of this, you also have the the spiral thing, right? But uh, before we do that, let's see what else we can do here. So we can control the rotations. Maybe we can. We can do this twice. Compose the matrices and this maybe we can randomize this a little bit if we like. Or we just use like something like spiral. So spiral is pretty cool. And maybe offset it in the Z. We don't need we don't need this plane. Oh yeah, this is the original master objects. We can we can simply hide it. Hide it, turn it invisible and also do not do not render. So that's important. All right. So spiral, how many we can create? Let's see. So that's kind of nice. It's almost like a Christmas light. All right, so I guess that's pretty much it. If you want to play around with the color instead of random, instead of random and random seed, you can also use the, the normal trick. If you are subdividing the index, if you, I think the index or iterations, okay, iteration subdivided by the index, you should get a value that's kind of going by the spectrum. So that should also work. Wonder why it's, uh, it's not like correctly updating. Let me try. Huh. Okay, index goes from, maybe I switch, I need to switch this around. No. Okay, so that works. And you can also use math and a frame to offset the color. 
So if I play back, so okay, not multiply but add. So now we have like a spectrum of Christmas light, and this should go forever. So I guess this is pretty cool. And the Blender has a lot of shortcuts. I think Shift Spacebar, oops, Control Spacebar, give you like almost like full screen. But view and I keep forgetting how to switch to full. Okay. Toggle maximize and toggle full screen. Control Alt Spacebar. Okay. Control Alt Spacebar. That's like really, really full screen. Before we do that, we turn off the overlay and also um, we make this black. And so we have full screen. If you if you forgot the shortcut at this point, don't close Blender. Just save it, and then there is this. If you drag your mouse to the corner, you can toggle to the normal view. All right. So that's a uh, that's pretty much it. That's a uh, quick noting to create this kind of setup. It's very very easy. Um, it's still using vertex color, etc. So you can't really export this as USDZ, but you can bake it out. You can always bake it out as a texture, and you get this setup. And you can also uh, you can also spin the spiral if you like. So I think yeah, that should work. So if you use frame, plug into this, and okay, that's pretty cool. And also use uh, like offset in here. You can have like a spiral Christmas tree. Yeah, that's really cool. You just need to put put a star on top. All right. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this one. Um, let me know what you think. So I'll see you next time and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Bye.